Welcome to A&M Education College of Creativity and Technology. Today in this session we will discuss on the topic magneto optical storage devices. The magneto optical that is MO systems include basic principles of both magnetic and optical storage systems. This system writes magnetically and reads optically. Magnetic optical disc is a plastic or a glass disc coated with a compound with a special properties. Since such materials are easily oxidized, dielectric barriers layers are used to protect the MO layer from oxidation. At the same time, the barriers together with the reflector coating act as an optical signal enhancement. MO discs function along optothermic magnetic principles. The thin film structure that gives a format its unlimited rewritability is based on the MO alloy layer enveloped by a barrier layer on each side presently mo discs are available in two formats 5.25 inch and 3.5 inch the larger discs are capable of holding data about as much as a standard cd rom some of the principles of the MO technology may find their way into the most advanced magnetic storage devices of the future. Thus, the existence of the erasable optical disks have been made feasible due to this technology. Basics of MO reading Magneto optical systems use polarized light to read the data from the disk. The changes in light polarization occur due to the presence of magnetic field on the surface of the disk. This phenomenon is known as a Kerr effect where the polarity of the reflected light is altered depending on the orientation of the magnetic particles. If a beam of polarized light is shined on the surface, the light polarization of the reflected beam will change slightly. It is reflected from a magnetized surface. If the magnetization is reversed, the change in polarization is reversed too. The magnetized areas that is pits cannot be seen in regular light but only in polarized light. Basics of MO recording After reaching the Curie temperature around 200 degrees Celsius, Every magnetic material loses magnetization due to a complete disordering of their magnetic domains and as a result lose the data stored on them. The material's coactivity that is the measure of the material's distance to magnetization by the applied magnetic field decreases as the temperature approaches the Curie point and reaches zero when this temperature is exceeded. Therefore, it is imperative that the only change to the material when it is heated and cooled is a change in magnetization with no damage to the material itself. The fact that the material's coercivity drops at higher temperatures allows thermally assisted magnetic recording with relatively weak magnetic fields. Even a relatively weak laser can generate high local temperatures when focused at a small spot. When the material is heated and its coercivity is low, the magnetization of the media can be changed by applying the magnetic field from the magnet. 
when the material is cooled to room temperature its coercivity rises back to such a high level that the magnetic data cannot be easily affected by the magnetic fields the recording layer is heated by the laser to a point where its magnetic orientation is dissipated as this spot on the disk cools the new magnetic orientation corresponding to the new information is set by the magnetic head to correspond to zero and one of digital signals to rewrite the data on an mo disk it is necessary to erase all the previous signals before new data can be recorded